You got the invitation. Great, fantastic, welcome. Hayden graduates, family, friends, special guests, staff, welcome to the 2021 Hayden Huskies virtual graduation. It's been an interesting year once again. Do you have some words you never ever wanna hear again? I asked a bunch of people, what are the words you never wanna hear again? Hybrid. <laughs> Pivot, unprecedented, flatten the curve, you're on mute, turn your camera on, cohort A or cohort B. We hope we never have to use those words again. But one word did keep popping up this year, joy. Where to find your joy. Our staff love being with you at school, teaching you, supporting you in the many ways that we do, and we miss that joy that you bring to the school. Even the chaos that you bring, we miss that. Today, our joy and your joy would have been all together at a graduation ceremony. With everybody, you know, all dressed up, moms and dads crying <laughs> as they see their grad walk across the stage. Staff would be crying too, because we love to see you guys walk across that stage. But since we can't be with you tonight to celebrate you moving on to the next chapter of your life, we hope that where you are brings you joy. I'm in the place that brings me the most joy these days. And as Neil Gaiman says, now go and make interesting mistakes. Make amazing mistakes. Make glorious and fantastic mistakes. Break the rules, leave the world a more interesting place for you being here and make good art. So sit back, enjoy this ceremony that was created with love and be thankful I'm in hiking shoes and not high heels. Have a great evening Huskies and good luck with whatever you decide to do in the future. Thank you to the Hayden Choir. My name is KDL and I am one of the vice principals here at Dr. Frank J. Hayden and it is my great honour to share with you our land acknowledgement this evening. Halton as we know it today is rich in history and modern traditions of many First Nations and the Métis. From the Anishinaabe to the Attawatarin, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis, these lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped in Indigenous history. As we gather here today on these treaty lands, we have the responsibility to honor and respect the four directions, land, waters, plants, animals, ancestors that walked before us, and all of the wonderful elements of creation that exist. We would like to thank and acknowledge the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for sharing their traditional territory with us today. To all of the graduates, congratulations and enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward and I'm honored to give congratulations to the graduating class of Dr. Frank J. Hayden Secondary School. What an incredible achievement to graduate after the year that we have been through. A year of challenge, an unprecedented year, a year that you had to learn how to change, adapt, 
uh, be creative, show resilience, you, your parents, your teachers, everyone involved in your lives this past year, and you've done it. You made it to the finish line. And you know what, normally I'd be giving you uh, words of advice and encouragement for the next stage of your journey, whatever that may be, but you know what, you don't need it. You have lived through a COVID-19 pandemic and you'll be fine if you can master that, which you have done. Uh, you will um, you will take those life lessons that you've learned into the next stage of your life. And I'm so proud of all of you for getting to this point. And I encourage you to hold on to all of the memories, the good memories, the relationships that you forged with your classmates, with your teachers, with uh, everyone that helped get you through this year. Those will last a lifetime. And the lessons that you've learned and the skills that you've learned of resiliency and persistence will last you for a lifetime, wherever that path may take you. So again, my congratulations on behalf of all of my colleagues here at City Hall. Have a great and safe summer. It is my honor and privilege to introduce our next speaker. Not only is Dr. Hayden the namesake to our amazing school, the founder of Special Olympics, a multiple Hall of Famer, a longtime professor. He is also a partner, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, and much more. He is also one of your greatest supporters. Over the past year, we've spoken many times and he always asks how you, the students, are doing during this unprecedented year. He has missed you greatly. To the world, he's Dr. Hayden, but to us, he's our friend, Dr. Frank. Here he is to share a special message to you, the class of 2021. Oh, hi, Huskies. You know, uh, when I first got my name on the school, I thought probably the greatest thing for me was to be, have a, a relationship with you and with all the teachers and people of the school and to keep that element of my life alive. Now, it went fine until this year. And uh, we all know what happened this year. And I've missed it, and I've missed you. And uh, Marion and I both think and talk about you every day and uh, hope that things have gone well. And the word I have back is that it's gone very well, and here you are. You're the graduating class of 21 eh? <laughs> for, uh, for Hayden. Anyway, uh, it's nice to see you here. It's been a tough year for you, you know, the, uh, for your graduating class, you know, you miss some things because of it, and, um, you never know what's going to happen the next day because things change and so on, uh, but you handle it, and you handle it well, and I thought, you know, that's, there's a good side to that because it tells you something about yourself that you've gotten through when you are part of this graduating class. You've met all the challenges that the COVID brought and, uh, and the four years here at our school as well. So uh, I'm delighted to be able to congratulate you on all of that. And keep in mind as you go on, you know, I read or I heard that uh, having a virus like this in our lives only happens once in a lifetime. So hopefully we've had ours now and we won't see it again. But uh, as you go along, there will be other challenges that come. It may be like this hopefully, but things that will challenge you and make you work and, and, and not be intimidated. Having got through this and uh, finishing your fourth year and moving on tells you something about yourself. And you think about that when you have challenges. You did this one and you can do others. And some of them will be harder, maybe uh, at least as hard as what you've experienced this year. But you've proven this year you can handle challenge. So I congratulate you on graduating, but also for getting through this difficult year. Some interesting news just got announced in the last few days. Um, 
that will certainly interest you. Uh, every year, if you're in education, people get moved and they go to different places. And uh, this year is no different. Uh, at Hayden, we have some people going other places for various reasons. And uh, probably the main reason is that people recognize talent when they see it and they read our plays. You know, we're eight years old and uh, we had a lady who was terrific, who was our principal for the first two and for the next six. <laughs> We've had somebody terrific too. And uh, sad to say, in a lot of ways, he's not going to be with us next year. Uh, somebody else is going to benefit from his talent. He's done a great job here for us, and we all thank Principal Nick very much uh, for what he's done in a very tough year for him, uh, not just for us. He's had a number of challenges. Was off work for a while and uh, had health problems, and, but he got all through all of those and came back and handled the challenges I talked about. And uh, strangely enough, he's not going to be far away. He's going to be over at Robinson. So if you want to visit him, go ahead. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank Nick for what he's done for this school in six years of development and operation. A lot of what you see is due to Nick. And uh, of course, a lot of it's due to you as well, all of these students. But uh, anyway, thank you, Nick, for what you did for us. And good luck uh, over at Robinson. We'll miss you. When you came in the school, it wasn't very old. It's not very old now, but uh, you spent your four years, some of you maybe a little more. And uh, <coughs> what the school is really reflects what you are. Um, we were brand new eight years ago, and this school and uh, its reputation and what happened and the views of the students, they're all a product of what people brought in here. This, this faculty, of course, had some changeover over the years, but we were lucky enough to have three terrific people come in here. We say some will leave this year, some new will come in. But uh, the school is really uh, a reflection of what they brought in and what they gave. And we want to thank them for that. Um, but also it's a reflection of you. You know, you probably didn't realize it at the time, but everything you did here and the, your relationships with each other and the enthusiasm you showed and everything, that's reflected in what this school has developed into. And the students that come in here now, behind you, they're all going to benefit from what you did not just for your own grade sake, but just what you did for the school period. And we all want to thank you for that. And uh, I'll thank you on behalf of the students that are coming in behind you to benefit from what you're leaving behind. Wherever you're going, enjoy, meet those new challenges. Don't be a stranger. You're an alumnus of this school now, our alumni. And uh, you're always welcome back here. And uh, I'm sure there will be students in here that would benefit from talking to you as well. Anyway, congratulations. And, uh, you are now the Hayden class of 21. Good luck. Thank you, Dr. Frank, for that inspiring message. We all love seeing you, Dr. Frank, in our hallways, at our games, concerts, and in the theater watching performances. Yes, you can star in our next musical. No, you cannot tap dance. And I call next to the virtual stage, the Director of Education of the Holton District School Board, Stuart Miller.
Hello everyone. Boy oh boy, you've had a tough end to your high school career, to your school career. I know that you have lost much. You've lost your extracurriculars, your co-curriculars, you've lost the socialization in schools, you've lost your proms, you've lost your commencements. But let's not dwell on those losses because we have a choice to make. And the choice is do we dwell on our losses or do we look forward to a brighter, better, more hopeful future? I am totally confident that the grade 12 class of this year is well placed and well prepared to take on this world as you go into either post-secondary education or the workforce. I know that it's been challenging, but think about the characteristics that you have had to develop this year and been put to the test on. Resiliency, integrity, strength, courage, commitment to others around you. It is an unprecedented time, but if we look on the positives, we've had an opportunity to develop unprecedented characteristics and skills that will make you the strongest generation going forward. I am so hopeful that we will be, if not out of the pandemic, close to out of the pandemic, and we'll take the lessons learned. But you take the lessons learned individually and collectively to make a big difference in this society so that we're not faced with these situations again. You will make a difference. I have every confidence in it because never has a generation of students been tested like you have in our lifetimes. And you have come through the test with flying colors. So congratulations. I also want to thank you for your efforts during this time. You've done remarkably well. You've looked after each other and looked after yourselves, and nothing is more important than that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all you've done in your school careers. Wherever you go next year, the skies will be blue and the sun will be shining because you are there. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart Miller, for those thoughtful words about resiliency and strength of our grads today. It reminds me of a quote from Stephen Colbert. Life is an improvisation. You have no idea what's going to happen next, and you mostly just make things up as you go. And next to the virtual stage, Andrea Gerbentz with a message from our trustees. As a trustee, I don't often get to address students directly, so I appreciate the opportunity to do so on this momentous occasion, your graduation. As trustees, one of our jobs is to set the direction for the Halton District School Board by establishing the board's goals and values. Our board plan is built on a foundation of adaptability, relationships, innovation, engagement, accountability, and communication. Many of these qualities have been of the utmost importance over the past year, but have also been important throughout your student career. Congratulations on meeting all the curriculum demands to attain this momentous milestone. In addition, we all know the school experience reaches far beyond curriculum achievement. You have learned new skills, learned how to manage relationships, how to manage your time. You've learned critical thinking skills that are so important in the world right now. You've hopefully learned where your passions and strengths lie, and you've engaged in your school community, and your school community is better for it. Some of you have spent 14 years or more with the Halton District School Board. Most of you stepped through the doors to begin your journey when you were about four years old. Right now, you probably don't remember the struggles you may have had learning your numbers and letters, learning how to take turns and socialize with other kids, or how stressful it may have been on that first day away from your parents. Since then, it is incredible to think of all the things you have learned and explored, all the experiences you have shared, all of the wonderful people 
that you have met along the way, including your teachers, administrators, EAs, and support staff at Dr. Frank J. Hayden Secondary School. You have achieved so much. You have grown in so many ways. What a journey you have had so far and what an adventure you are about to begin. In your time with the Halton District School Board, we hope that your experience has allowed you to learn, grow and inspire together. It is my pleasure to send greetings and congratulations on behalf of the trustees of the Halton District School Board to the graduating class of 2021. We are very proud of your achievements and accomplishments, and we look forward to hearing about all your adventures out in the world. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. We at Hayden are very proud of these graduates today. In fact, from the moment they walk through those doors in grade nine, I personally have been waiting and counting the days until they graduate. And now for a message from our principal, Mr. Vericchio. Well, oh, hello, Hayden Huskies, and congratulations to the class of 2021 and what a journey it has been. You know, four years ago, when you first entered the den as a grade nine student, no one, and I mean no one, would have thought and expected that you as a graduating class would be forced to navigate as a student your high school career, not just for one year, but for two years through a global pandemic, never to be done before by any graduating class of Dr. Frank J. Hayden Secondary School as well and you probably have forgotten that part of your high school experience also required you to navigate through quite a bit of labor unrest across the province and public school systems you met that challenge as well so you have heard justly from many talking heads on screen including this one that you as a graduating class are very resilient no doubt but I'm gonna remind you that as a graduating class, you're unique because since grade nine, you are willing as a group to advocate for others, not just for yourself. You as a group have demonstrated that you are willing to speak up and out against injustice. You as a group have learned to be critical and to apply critical thinking to make changes, whether it's in the school or whether it's in direction from the school board or maybe even outside educational systems. No doubt when you move on to post-secondary and perhaps directly into the world of work, it will be your generation who will change society and help to break down systemic barriers so everyone can achieve success, be healthy, happy, and live productive lives. That is what you all should be very, very proud of. You know, some of you may or may not know that I too am spending my last moments as a Hayden Husky because I too am venturing off to a different school come September. But what I'm gonna tell you is that I and yourself, even though we are moving on and will be part of different communities, we will always together be Hayden Huskies. Walk proud, Huskies. You deserve this, and best of luck. Thank you, Mr. Vericchio, and keep on howling. And now, for the stars of our show, the main event, our grads. Grads, today represents a very important day in a lifetime of memories. We all wish we could be here to celebrate with you and watch you walk across the stage. But as your name is called virtually, I want you to think in your head of being up here in your black gown, taking those steps across the stage as your name is called, reaching forward for that blank piece of computer paper, shaking some sweaty hands and posing awkwardly for those parents' photos. And as you hover there, I want you to think about 
all of the people who helped you along the way. And as you continue across the stage and move towards your seat, I want you to think about all the hard work this blank piece of computer paper represents. And don't worry, it won't always be a blank piece of paper for one day soon. You'll drive up to Hayden and they'll hand you a new envelope and inside will be one with your very own name on it. Think about that paper and the four years of goals, successes, hard work and achievements that it represents. Be proud of yourself and think fondly of the memories, relationships and experiences you had here at Hayden. It is my honor to announce the grads of 2021. Hello, I'm Anna Deal. I am honored and delighted to be announcing the graduates of 2021 from Dr. Frank J. Hayden Secondary School, last names A to B. Thomas Atchison. Madeline Adams. Rayan Ahmad. Omima Ahmed. Erkan Ahmedaglu. Owen Aid. Huda Al Hamami. Hannah Alyssa. Yahya Al Rani. Mustafa Al Abdali. Shakir Alam. Quinn Alexander. Jana Al Harash. Yasmin Emily Ali. Mujtaba Ali. Kira Ali. Brandon Allen. Emma Anderson. Eric Anderton. Gabe Arabia. Kian Arenzi Dury. Arash Arami. Donna Aurora. Lucy Arsico. Caitlin Askew. Devin Assey. Hajar Asim. Mohib Azhar. Mani Badri Nude.
Hayden Bailey. Aruj Bajwa. AJ Balakrishnan. Ashley Ball. Sophie Barbazan. Reagan Barr. Luke Barrington. Loneth Baznayaka. Mahmoud Batch. Ashley Beatty. Madison Beavis. Adam Beggs. Emily Bell. Noah Burke. Laura Berkovitz. Good evening. My name is Mike Skew, and I am the program leader of mathematics and computer science at Dr. Frank J. Hayden Secondary School. I am honored and privileged to be presenting the names of the next set of graduates for the year 2020-2021. You've all been through quite the unique year, and it's a testament to your adversity and your spirit that you've been able to graduate this year beyond anyone's expectations. Well done, congratulations, and good luck in your future. Cole Bielski. Madison Black. Adam Blagage. Eric Boardman. Matt Bowden. Jacob Bowder. Cozy Bowman. Nikos Bruce. Liam Bullock. Sarah Bustami. Elyasa Seika. Mark Campbell. Martha Kapener. Anna Capercioni. Carissa Kaplan. Jacob Cardoso. Justin Carr. Marcus Caspers. Miriam Selick. Max Cerecia. Olivia Chadwick. Abigail Chalmers. Harbucks Channa. Shahir Chowdhury. Sandisha Chowdhury. Alex Christensen. Arav Chug. 
Isabel Clark, Kate Claremont, Charlie Cockshut, Robbie Collette, Curtis Collins, Kiara Comiso, Ashley Cooper, Bradley Cooper, Julianne Cordero, Zach Correa, Emily Davidge, Sarah Davidge, Joshua Day, Phoenix De Paz, Jocelyn Dean, Samantha DeGenova, Shaylin DeRoche, Paramvir Dissi, Seva Dillon. Hey all, this is Miss Van Kessel. Congratulations and good luck. Aiden Dickey. Chloe Dixon. Madison Dinger. Jack Dodge. Katie Donati. Ethan DePaco, Erica Dowdall, Madison Down, Zach Downs, Joshua Duplessis, Madison Dugas Blank, Anna Duyakovic, Carter Duke, Austin Dumoulin, Hannah Duncan Nanik, Leona Dusper, Caitlin Eckert. Kazim El Gariani Sato, Izat El Cordy, Hannah El Siraj, Jackson Elliott, Alejandra Elliott Cordoba, Hannah Malek. Nina Mnase, Sebastian Evans, Ryan Facini, Tori Faithful, Kareem Fall, Aaron Farrell. Ramin Farizada, Jasmine Ferreira, Rachel Farrington, Avery Farron, Jay Fian, 
Luke Finelli, Keegan Fletcher, Elizabeth Forbes, Jake Fortune, James Fowler, Alexandra Galveo, Brayden Galveo, Robbie Geitz, Meher Guman, Daniela Giansante. Bonsoir. My name is Jennifer Hancock, and I have the pleasure tonight of presenting the graduates with last names ranging from Gibbons to Irvine Casso. Felicitations, mes amis! Ewan Gibbons. Madison Gibbs. Samantha Gibbs. Matthew Goner. Alia Golaub. Tatiana Goldwalla. Gabriel Gonzalez. Tessa Gostovich. Tyler Goulet. Brooke Graham. Zane Gray. James Griffiths. Melanie Gust. Paige Hagen. Kirsten Hahn. Taylor Hansen. Joshua Harris. Jonathan Hart Day. Elise Hassan. Nari Hassan. Amani Hassan. Waji Hassan. Fathia Hayel. Michael Hagee. Tyler Heimbecker. Kieran Henderson. Maya Harriet. Kinda Hisham Abushanab. Marcus Hogel. Maximilian Horath. Kennedy Hogan. Andrew Hogan. Haley Holland. Ryan Holloway. Sebastian Horn. Matthew Horton. Rashad Hubashi. Paige Hudson. Caden Hughes. Lydia Hughes. Maria Hussein. William Ayamundo. 
Isabella Ignat. Georgia Irvine Casso. Sydney Irvine Casso. Good evening. My name is Daniel Estranelli. I'm a teacher and program leader at Dr. Frank J. Hayden Secondary School. This evening, I'll be introducing graduates with the last names from J to L. Congratulations. Selena Jaffer. Ben Jarvis. Sophia Jeffrey. Miranda Jensen. Liam Jess. Arshi Johal. Baldeep Johal. Scarlett Johnson. Aiden Jones. Ali Jumani. Luke Kang. Kavalpreet Kaur. Joshua Kavanaugh Shields. Rayanne Kazim. Shauna Kernahan. Fatima Katana. Peyton Kettle. Fatima Khalid. Ryan Kalilie. Fedi Hare. Pranav Kada. Tyler Kiernan. Ashley Cole. Zach Kamadowski. Ramsey Kondabeti. Thomas Koster. Jack Krunick. Seth Kubuszewski. Tushar Kumar. Vanessa Kurz. Megan Lang. Hanson Lamb. Addison Lama. Darren Lang. Brody Larson. Haley Lasky. Megan Lawson. Julia Lee. Abby Lefebvre. Lauren Lepore. Brianna Lewis. Christina Liggi. Stephanie Luong. Ashley Lupton. Hi, I'm Ms. Banakevich. Congratulations to the class of 2021. And what a year it has been. Continuing with names L to N. Sydney Lupton. Jacob Leon. Emily McKay. 
Kathleen McMillan. Jada McPherson. Nicholas Mahal. Ayman Mahmood. Ben Majorly. Iman Majid. Justin Mack. Arlette Mamo Kenneth Mann Alex Mariner Katarina Markova Zachary Matheson Kabuswi Mbisha Brandon McBay, Sophie McFarling, Liam McGrath, Sam McGurk, Alex McKay. Shamario McLeod Rory McNichol Aisha Mahmood Zainab Mahmood Marina Mendonca Owen Miller Ethan Mills Jazra Minaz Viren Mystery Mackenzie Mitchell Nikki Morin Graham Morrison Mark Mosley Aiden Mountain Michelle Musa Olivia Munn Alyssa Maholland Farhan Mula Gavin Murray Mohammed Mustafa Brandon Myers Hannah Nagib Hello, my name is Christy Morrison. It is my pleasure to be reading and announcing the names of graduates from Dr. Frank J. Hayden Secondary School with last names starting with N to R. Sarah Naidu. Yasmin Nazir. Oliver Nelson. Dylan No. Daniel Nixon. Sarah North. Zaki Nuri, Daniel Natumba, Harris Numick, Ella O'Connor, Raquel Ockberg, Maria Ojali, Calvin Ong. Olivia Orlick, Simon Orr, Michael Pagani, 
Sophie Parsons. Jack Pascal. Dylan Petrascu. Spencer Patterson. Oliver Peer. Jamie Petrie. Ishan Verte. Chow Pham. Vien Pham. Tyler Phillips. Gage Pierce. Ethan Pollock. Adite Pradon. Portene Prawl. Charlotte Prescott. Cami Purewal. Lana Rasik. Kushdeep Rajput. Nalith Ranawira. Fiona Rankin. Farhana Rashid. Michael Resendez. Lily Rickles. Nikola Rishtik. Baruch Rizvi. Hannah Robertson. Augusto Rodriguez. Jason Rogers. Hi, my name is Mitch Clear. I'd like to take a second to full-throatedly and candidly congratulate each and every member of the graduating class of 2021 at Dr. Frank J. Hayden Secondary. It's my honor to introduce the following individual graduates. Raina Rosenblood. Claire Ross. Gracie Ross. Mina Sabi. Faiza Saeed. Nirav Saini. Rhonda Saleh. Kareem Salem. Evan Salter. Nabi Sandu. Jagdeep Saran. Rhea Shambar. Connor Sharp. Maha Shaket. Mustafa Sheik. Hussein Shireen. Matthew Shaz. Hamza Siddiqui. Kaylin Simpkins. Matthew Simmons. Paige Simpson. Justin Simpson. Corbin Sims. Curtis Smith. Paige Smith. Nahil Sohail. Shea Saint-Amand. 
Annika St. Clair. Katrina St. Clair. Lenoy Stepanov. Rachel Stevens. Aiden Stewart. Thomas Stewart. Leah Stone. Phoenix Stone. Skylar Souk. Kai Sullivan. Ryan Sullivan. Ayana Swice. Kareem Taha. Ronan Tallarico. Charlotte Tan. Lauren Tapley. Mina Hill Tofik. Nicole Terabilo. Nicole Tesic. Brianna Terrio. Hello, I'm Krista Caron, Program Lead for Health and Physical Education, and I am proud to present the final group of graduates. Although we may be apart, you will always have this shared accomplishment. You are forever Hayden's graduating class of 2021. Congratulations. Matt Terrio. Nolan Fode. Annika Thompson. Ella Thorne. Jeff Chu. Eric Torres. Abby Trainer. Haley Trufin. Cole Tyrell. Martin Zana. Sabit Uden. Jaden Van Oosterhout. Saminen Vasanthan. Eden Vasika. Sana Bayani. Ambika Vijaya Kumar. Emma Walker. Arman Wander. Emma Ward. Carter Watson. Mitchell Watson. Kate Welland. Caleb Wessel. Brooke West. Megan White. Paige White. Julian Whitfield. Sanelia Widyaratna. Abby Williams. Ryan Williams. Blake 
Williams. J. Wilson. Tegan Wilson. Aiden Winters. Daniel Chu. Abby Yaku. Adia Yaya. Jane Yang. Hannah Jurgen. Anna Zarek. Paulina Zavaros. Owen Savitz. Selena Cheng. Adam Zelinski. Ellie Zemer. Sabit Zuberi. Hi, I'm Susan Gabriel. I'm one of the VPs at Dr. Frank Hayden Secondary School. And it is my pleasure to announce this year's Hayden Award winners. And to all of our other graduates, congratulations, you did it. The Burlington Chamber of Commerce Business Award goes to Daniel Nixon. The Burlington Lions Club Douglas Lawless Award for Volunteer Service goes to Emily Bell. The Canadian Federation of University Women's Leadership Award goes to Julia Lee. The Dr. Frank J. Hayden Award goes to Graham Morrison. The Dr. Frank J. Hayden Scholarship Award goes to Carissa Kaplan and Taylor Hansen. The Dumfries Insurance Scholarship Award goes to Michael Hagee. The Governor General's Academic Medal goes to Katarina Markova. And for our Grade 12 Subject Proficiency Awards, we have Lauren Tapley, Harris Numick, Aidan Dickey, and Zach Komodowski. Matthew Shaws, Katarina Markova, Ryan Holloway, and Gage Pierce. Tyler Bushby and Olivia Munn, Madeline Adams, Arlette Mamo, and Hannah Robertson. Sydney Irvine Casalt, Aidan Dickey, Calvin Ong, and Rayan Ahmed, Alexander Galveo, and Ashley Cooper. Linois Stefano, Donna Aurora, Jacob Cardoso, and Kenneth Mann. Alexander Galveo, Carissa Kaplan, Eric Boardman, and Thomas Atchison. Daniel Zhu, Tyler Bushby, Shanila Widya Rathne, and Nolan Thode. Zabi Udin, Olivia Munn, Taylor Hansen, Michelle Musa, Tyler Bushby, and Hussein Shireen. Th Thomas Atchison, Peyton Kettle, 
Nicola Ristic, and Kieran Henderson. Ellie Zimer, Giovanni Aguilar, Owen Zavitz, and Nicole Tesic. The Halton Proficiency Award goes to Katerina Markova. The Jacqueline Newton Award goes to Kristen Hahn. The Lieutenant Governor's Community Volunteer Award goes to Maria Hussein. The Ontario Principals Council of District 20 goes to Paige Hudson and Matthew Shaws. Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation Award goes to Arlette Mamo. The Principal's Award for Student Leadership goes to Olivia Munn. The Rotary Club Bursary Award goes to Tyler Kiernan. The Rotary Club of Burlington Athletic Award goes to Hunter Houston. The Rotary Club of Burlington Leap Forward Award goes to Madison Dugas Blank. The Smith Funeral Home Award goes to Aru Bajwa. The Terry Fox Award goes to Taylor Hansen. The University of Toronto Book Award goes to Kristen Hahn. Truth be told, I've known Michael Pagani since his very first day at Dr. Frank J. Hayden Secondary School in September of 2017. Entering as a grade 9 student, Michael had a lot of energy, a lot of passion, and was looking to get involved. And we're certainly glad that he got involved with the Hayden Hockey Program. He's accumulated over 300 hours with the program, and he was the very first person to hoist the 2020 HSSAA Hockey Championship Trophy as selected by team captains and by his teammates. It was an incredible moment, and we're so thankful that Michael has been the heartbeat and the pulse of the program since he stepped into Hayden in 2017. In the classroom, Michael is dynamic. He will always create the mood, make the mood a little bit better, and whether it's in person or virtually, he'll give you the exact same effort regardless of the circumstances. Away from school, he's been very successful during the pandemic as he's continued with the PEGCAST, which is his podcast interviewing the likes of James Duffy, Dave Randorf, Zach Hogan, maybe just pay attention to the first two. He's an aspiring sport journalist and he's going to do big things moving forward. But above all else, I'm so proud to know Michael because Michael is a very kind person. Michael will do whatever he can to make the experience for you and for him in the process that much better. He will give you his very best effort regardless of any circumstance, any scenario, any environment, you can always count on pegs. He's a great choice as this year's valedictorian, and it gives me great pleasure to present to you the valedictorian of the class of 2021, Michael Peggs Pagani. Here we go! Good evening, students, parents, staff, and administration of Dr. Frank J. Hayden's Secondary School and special guests. First and foremost, I would like to thank all the students and teachers who nominated me to be the valedictorian for the class of 2021. It is a true honor. 
Wow, what a year. These past 18 months, the world has been hit with the biggest global health event in more than 100 years. Who would have thought the coronavirus would have impacted and shaped us like the way we are now? Personally, earlier on in the pandemic, I had to be separated from my mom, who is an ICU nurse at Joe Brandt. Even on Mother's Day, I still couldn't hug her. It hurt a lot. This pandemic has not been easy on any of us. I know many of my friends whose parents put restrictions on who they could see. This pandemic really dehumanized us and put us in an uncomfortable position. As we take time to reflect on these past 18 months, I want to share my thoughts on the school year specifically. The schedule nowadays is much better than the absolute tire fire it was last year. If there was a sports moment to best describe the situation last year, it would be the Toronto Maple Leafs being up 4-1 against the Boston Bruins in Game 7 in the 2013 Stanley Cup playoffs. The game started off so well and the Leafs immediately collapsed later in the third period, especially losing the game in overtime. More recently, we've been stuck in a virtual world and even those same Toronto Maple Leafs being up 5-1 against the Ottawa Senators this season and they still lost that game 6-5 in overtime. But this time it was better than the debacle in 2013 because it was a regular season game. Fortunately for the students at Hayden, however, despite the impact of the pandemic and the constant pivoting, we were able to overcome the obstacles we had faced. Firstly, I wanna talk about perseverance. Per Google, perseverance is doing something with difficulty or delay in achieving success. On behalf of all the students, I most definitely agree with this definition as we've all persevered in some way, shape, or form. Whether you persevered in academics, clubs, arts, or athletics, we've all achieved success. I remember a sit down I had with Coach Hogan. He showed me a photo of the 2019 Hayden hockey team after losing in overtime. I was as dejected as I could be. He then compared it to the photo of the 2020 Hayden hockey team and the emotions were completely different. Most of that was because of our perseverance as we won against Nelson in front of a sold out Hayden Huskies crowd. Speaking of that win, for many of us, Friday, February 28th, 2020 might have been our last great high school memory. That was a special day for me and I remember it vividly. After my morning class ended, I swung around to the Hayden Athletics office a location that would become a mainstay for debates between Coach Hogan, Coach Stevenson, among other coaches. One phrase that was hollered at me down every corner and every stairwell was, here we go. As I boarded the bus, there was a lot of chatter amongst all of the players about the opponent. At the rink, I sat out looking out onto the ice as I visualized the perfect outcome. As game time was looming, I was in the locker room inhaling smelling salts with the boys getting jacked up because this was simply the most important game that I've ever been a part of. I emphatically read the lineup card as the boys headed out onto the ice. The seats were packed with the best Hayden atmosphere possible. Fans brought out signs and let's go Hayden chants were screamed during the entirety of the game. The game itself was tight checking and remained 0-0 until the Huskies were fortunate enough to get a 5-on-3 power play during the third period when Connor Sharp parked his rear end in front of the net and a shot was let go from the point which sent 16 Mile into complete pandemonium. The glass behind the bench was about to fall because of all the fans that shook it violently. I ran down to ice level to celebrate with the team. It was an honor to be elected to be the recipient of the championship trophy. Looking back, had I known it was going to be the only chance I would get with the trophy, I would have celebrated more. All I felt that day was pure joy. For me, that was my memory of Hayden. And we all have our version of Hayden and the impact that it had on our lives to date. Whether you were in robotics, Chicago the Musical, Arts Council, Student Council, or any other classroom or co-curricular initiative offered a Hayden. We all remember those experiences that gave us goosebumps and the ones that made us feel like champions. As we conclude our high school careers, we are all prepared for what's next. A number of us are beginning new chapters in the fall, attending university or college or starting work or an apprenticeship in the community. Owen Miller, Alex Mernier, Kirsten Hahn, and Olivia Moon, as well as Kate Clermont, all received athletic scholarships and they will be attending schools in the United States. 
These individuals are superb athletes and they will accomplish amazing things in their future careers. Regardless of where you are heading, we have been very fortunate to have had our time at Hayden. Together, in person, and virtually, in the here and now. Lastly, my advice to our graduating class is whatever the challenge may be, don't back down from it. We are more than prepared to hurdle past the obstacles in our way. We have endured a pandemic that threw every plan at the time out of the window. From grade nine, our first challenge was building our foundation for who we would later become. As we walked past those doors of Dr. Frank J. Hayden Secondary School, we began a journey that would be unforgettable. As I mentioned, Hayden bringing home the tier one trophy for varsity hockey with everyone in the halls cheering and all the happiness is what I will remember. This, among others, is just one of the great experiences that I will choose to remember when I think back to high school. We will ultimately never forget wearing masks, attending classes in cohorts, or engaging online, but we can choose to remember all the good experiences that shaped us. Thank you. Thank you very much to everyone who helped make this virtual celebration for the graduating class of 2021 possible. Thank you to all the parents and families who've joined us tonight to celebrate their success. Graduates, remember next week, come on by to the grad through to pick up your grad bag and your diploma. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you very much. Good night.